Today we'll be looking at Live's Preferences window to set up our interface for recording audio. This is an important window that you should become familiar with and know how to access quickly. You can go to Live, Preferences, or Command Comma. Let's go to the Record Warp Launch tab. Here we select the file type that is created when recording. I like WAV files because they are cross compatible between Mac and Windows. Select 24 bit depth. Next, go to the Audio tab. If you haven't set anything up yet, you may need to choose the driver type. On Mac systems, this is primarily core audio. On Windows, it's primarily ASIO or OSIO. If no devices appear after selecting the OSIO driver, try selecting a different driver if there is one. If that doesn't work, you may need to download and install the drivers from your interface's manufacturer's website, Personas, Focusrite, etc. For the purpose of this tutorial, select your interface as the audio input device and the audio output device. The standard sample rate is 44,100 Hertz. The buffer size will affect the latency of your input signal. Low settings offer less input latency, but your system will work harder. This works okay for sessions with low track counts and light processing, which is what we're doing today. Let's select 128 samples for now. Become familiar with the tabs and settings. You may find yourself needing to tweak them depending on your needs. But for now, these settings should get you up and going. We'll pick up here in the next volume. I hope you've enjoyed these tips. If you have any questions or would like to leave any feedback, I'd love to hear from you in the comments or reach out to me by email, wyatt at bookshelfproductions.com, which you can find below. I've got tons of these videos on the way, so let me know if there's anything specific I can help you with. Until next time, bye.